Good morning. I'm standing at the roundabout on the Strandmillis Road and I'm standing just outside Strandmillis College or Strandmillis uh, University College as it's now known. Um, I went to Strandmillis uh, in 1971 through to uh, 1974 um, and this wee video is dedicated to the memory of uh, those students who are no longer with us. Um, I'm thinking of my sister, May McLean. I'm thinking of um, uh, Susan Beatty. I'm thinking of uh, Terry Blackburn. I'm thinking of Sharon Faith Swindells. I'm thinking of Alan Jingles and all these students uh, and uh, well Susan was a live-in teacher all these uh, folks students were well known to me and we spent a pleasant four years at Stranmillis uh, College uh, where we gained our Bachelor of Education degree now, <clears throat> come with me and I'll uh, show you uh, some of the, the extensive grounds of Stan Millis uh, College. And <clears throat> just looking uh, down the hill towards the roundabout at uh, Stan Millis University College, I would have walked this uh, pathway literally hundreds of times. Um, over here we are looking into Riddle Hall <clears throat> and going and going up the hill. Uh, I mean, it's been forty or so years since I uh, walked these paths or more, and we're looking down into the ravine. It's a, an absolute wildlife uh, haven. Um, badgers, foxes, you name it, it's all down in there. And nobody goes there. And looking on up the hill to the library and lecture theatres of St. Millis. Uh, I must say, unfortunately, that I felt St. Millis College, my four year course there, did not prepare me in any shape or form for 30 years of secondary school teaching. In fact, to me, Strandmillis College was little more than a girls' finishing school. Uh, I might as well had four more years doing A level because I didn't learn an awful lot more in my four years' time. The subjects presented, <coughs> the uh, the subjects presented didn't prepare me at all. Uh, it was like doing A-level geography, A-level uh, English, and uh, we did psychology, sociology, school studies, philosophy, and they didn't prepare you for what was found behind the classroom doors. Uh, we got very little uh, help in preparing us for the discipline problems that we would face uh, going into a secondary school. The best thing about Strand Millis College, as I remember it, was actually the uh, teaching practice. Beyond that, I could have uh, taught immediately after 
leaving school. I found uh, the, uh, the lecturers by and large were field teachers. Uh, they were very, very poor uh, in, uh, in, in uh, preparing you for, for teaching. Uh, there were on some notable exceptions, and I can think of people like uh, Ed McCann, I can think of uh, Doc Cameron, I can think of Billy Steele, I can think of Seamus Greenwood, Danny McNeil, but my goodness, the rest of them, uh, they, 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 were, they were very nice people, but what they were presenting was just totally uh, useless in preparation and preparing any student for uh, for day-to-day -day teaching. It was, it was poor. I learnt more on teaching practice in my first week than I learnt in, in four years of uh, time at Stone Millis. And we're just standing in front of the impressive uh, or, I don't know, was it Gothic style students' union as it was? Uh, and we're just down here looking down towards the halls of residence uh, where I spent four very happy years, I must admit. Six girls for every fella. Uh, I would love to have come back or been given the opportunity to come back to Strandmillis and tell the young students just what life was like in reality uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, teachers starting off. I would love to have done that but uh, never given the opportunity of course. But anyway it was a pleasant place to be, a beautiful environment, beautiful grounds uh, and uh, I had some, some good uh, friends, made some many, many good friends um, at Stan Millis, looking down towards the uh, refectory. And just approaching the uh, halls of residence, uh, places like Nendrum, places like uh, Colmore North and South, places like Colmore West, where I spent all four years. Uh, Edmund McCann was the uh, live-in uh, lecturer there. Good guy, went over to Canada, I believe. And uh, there were plenty of good friends to be made. There was uh, my good friends Hazel Shilliday and Sharon Faith Swindells who lost her life while uh, out in Rhodesia, as it was the unknown, shot in the back by one of uh, uh, ZANU's terrorists. Nice guy, obviously. Um, and then there was people like David Crawford, Liz Blur, John Curry, Ronnie Hazard. Uh, Paul Evans, Big Terry Blackburn, Ian Rudd, Nan McKnight, Wybrie Shilliday, Mike Barry, who's, uh, who's moderator of the Presbyterian Church now, and uh, Big, Big Ronnie Hazard, he's uh, headmaster up in uh, Ballamina, Ballamoney. And then there was Davy Anderson, and there was Barney McGonagall, uh, Davy Lawther, all those guys, great guys. Uh, Willie Anderson, of course, there, who uh, went on to be a, a British uh, lion and uh, played for Ulster and uh, did well. So there's some top class people came out of Stranbellis College. And then there was many more of the lads who did secondary. and. Uh, in doing secondary you're almost guaranteed that within five years you could become a head teacher. So we had Jim Miller, Davy Miller, we had Jim Cochran, 
Gary Hanley, Arnie Cousins, uh, all uh, the ferret, uh, Kenny Deans, Annie Bammer, all became uh, uh, head teachers, I believe. My goodness, here we are. This is this is this takes you back. I'm just approaching uh, Colmore West as it was then, and uh, my two cleaners, long since deceased, Lily and Claire. This video is dedicated to them because they were great, get great girls. Uh, this is where I used to store my my motorbike whenever I motorcycled up to Banbridge all those years ago. My goodness, it takes you back. I weep like a child for the past. John Millis College. And we were largely uh, hidden from the troubles. This was a, a, a real El Dorado place. Uh, Nirvana. It was, uh, it was an outstanding place to be. The troubles, the bombs were going off around us and we knew nothing about it. Down, looking down towards the roof feck. And many's the time I stood on this bridge And many's the time I looked out, I was on uh, number 11, I was number 9, looked out the, that end window, many's the time, all those years ago. And I'm on the bridge at um, just outside the Refac at uh, the Halls of Residence. There's Nendrum, uh, the Halls of Residence at Stranmillis, and I'm remembering one or two other famous names, <laughs> people like. Uh, oh, uh, this this uh, video is also dedicated to the memory of uh, head teacher Billy Tate, a uh, late of Beaver Primary School, and Billy. Had a wild reputation at Stan Millis, but uh, Billy, Billy uh, became a changed boy in later life. And uh, who else? Mm, Brian Davison, Sam Strain, my old mate. <laughs> Sam, Sam was forever getting himself into scrapes due to uh, excess alcohol intake. Uh, what a guy with the ladies! I just uh, couldn't keep. I couldn't keep track of Sam. I wonder where he went. Last I heard he was over in England. So, it's, uh, it's all changed. It's all grown up. Uh, Derek Campbell's another one. Don't know what happened to Derek. Her last time I heard he was quite ill. Uh, names from the past. And we're just coming down. Out of uh, out of Sean Millis, uh, the um, halls of residence, and Dunseverick, of course, forgot it. And uh, then the uh, playing fields would have been down. The hockey pitches would have been down here. Sean Millis had, at one time had a very uh, strong uh, hockey team. It also, of course, had uh, King Scholars rugby team, and I. Uh, knew the, all the rugby uh, boys very, very well because I was in their flat and they were, they were wild as crows. <laughs> and uh, people, people like the Magic Christian <laughs> who went on to teach at Listener Garvey. Uh, what, a, what a guy he was. <laughs> you wouldn't have crossed him. And I used to do uh, laps of this in the morning. before breakfast. John Millis College. My goodness. Beautiful setting. Wildlife haven. 
Uh, the first time I arrived, going up those steps there, I met a guy carrying a door. And uh, one of the guys in my flat to be had a birthday. And so uh, I was forced to carry this door and put it in someone else's kitchen. We, uh, we absolutely, uh, I was cajoled uh, into uh, stripping this boy's bedroom and they left him a cake, a birthday cake and some anodin uh, in a completely stripped room. And uh, we all had a good laugh about it. Uh...